Hi, dyslexic genius here, Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. And I got a little helper. Say hi, Matcha. Setting the tracking and the height of the reproducer on an Edison diamond disc machine. This is my A250. The lift lever is up to play. As you see, the limit pin in the reproducer is sitting on here. This should be about the middle. I like to run mine, personally, just a little bit higher in case the records work. Because you can just see there's, you can pull up on it and it, everything moves, that's perfect. Let me take the record off. If you've brought this over, and you can hear this, and you drop it down, and the limit pin is not up, what you have to do is undo, this, undo these screws at the bottom of the horn, and they're always there. And there's a hole in this bottom piece. And you're going to turn that, you're going to put a piece of metal dowel or a small Phillips screwdriver there, and you're going to turn it left or right. Sometimes they're a little boogered because when they screw the bolt in here, it hits the threads. So it might be hard for you. After you get it all set, the reproducer set where you want it to play, you're going to drop this down. It's tight here. And if the lift lever is not touching the automatic brake piece here, okay, when you lift it up, it's not touching. It might be a little high. You want to undo the screws back under here. Loosen it up and just take palm of your hand and give it a little hit and that'll pop it down tighten that everything up. That's really simple. So the other thing we're going to talk about is, you hear that little squeak in here? Okay. On Edison machines, there's a spring thing, and the motor board's here. That spring here, when you bring it up to turn it, compresses, and that's what gives you the tension here. Okay? when it's not playing. You don't want that very st stiff. You want it kind of loose. So that part, this is an A100 for demos only, is this piece right here in your motor. And this spring right here, and it moves on this casting. There's one screw here, okay? You're gonna unscrew it, going to pop it down, you're going to set it so all this moves, okay? You're going to put a little dab of oil where the spring hits the motor board up there, and you're going to pull this up a little, just touch, just a little bit of touch. Just tighten the screw and check the drag on this. And the wonderful part is, you have to climb your hands in here with a flashlight and try to do all this by yourself or have someone help you hold the flashlight. The other thing is, this is the tracking main gear. And this right here is the other gear. This runs into this gear. They're both gears, tracking. When you lower it down, it should just kind of barely touch. Okay, it'll float like that. It'll come down and it'll be a little bit of tension. If this pin here with the spring, this is the spring tensioning, does, is too stiff, you're gonna to have to undo this screw and play with this back and forth, okay? Sometimes you have to take it out. You might have to take the whole motor out to get all this done. I have to tell you again, oil your machines. You want to oil the lift lever. 
right here where it's running in and out of the casting. You want to put a little drop of oil down here for the height adjustment. There's the screw for the height adjustment. And right there is the hole, and you can move this back and forth. This will set the height for everything. Everything is all up in here. So you kind of wiggle around and you find it. This isn't complicated, but this is something you have to do. I personally, okay, this is a gray area. I run mine right here, just a little loose. The nice thing about an A250, there's a door in the back. A C19, there's not a door in the back. This is fun, and this is my tip for the day.